how many mobile homes can you buy and hold in the state of Illinois without a license? I am Kelly from Hills, Deals, and Wheels Mobile Home Investing Course, and today we're going to talk about transferring the title in the state of Illinois. Regardless of what state you're trying to transfer the title in, guys, it's very important that you see that title. You need to physically see that title to make sure that the person who's trying to sell you that mobile home actually owns that mobile home. So in the state of Illinois, guys, what you're going to have to do, the second thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to check for back taxes. And what you can do is you can go down to the Department of Revenue office and then you will present them with the mobile home's VIN number as well as the serial number to see if there are any unpaid taxes. Now, just because there are some back taxes owed on that particular mobile home does not make that deal dead because sometimes you can negotiate the fact that you're going to pay the taxes into that price in order to get that mobile home lower. So the third thing you have to do is you have to check for liens and you can go down to the DMV with that particular mobile home serial number and the VIN number to make sure that there aren't any hidden liens on that particular property. It will not be possible to transfer that title over to the end buyer or over to you if you're trying to buy that particular mobile home if there are some liens on that particular mobile home. The fourth thing you're going to have to do, guys, is that you're going to have to communicate with the mobile home park manager or the mobile home park owner. So you need to get park approval for that particular mobile home in order to transfer the title. You need to make sure that that park does not want to buy that mobile home for themselves. And you also need to know uh, the rules and regulations of that particular park. Okay. So go over to the park manager's office so you can get park approved. Now, a lot of you going to say, Hey, why do I need to be park approved? I don't plan on living in the mobile home. I just plan on fixing and flipping the mobile home, or I just plan on seller financing the mobile home out to somebody. Guys, when you are buying the mobile home from a seller, and you're going to transfer it over into your name, you still nine times out of 10 are going to have to get park approved. Because remember, you only own the mobile home. You do not own the land that that mobile home sits on. So you're going to need a lease agreement with that particular park. Okay, so it's very important that you go over to the park manager's office, build a rapport with the park manager, and you're going to have to sign a lease agreement in order for that mobile home to stay in that particular park. So number five, biggest day, if you do not have a title for that particular mobile home or any identifying numbers, sometimes you can run into this particular problem. In some states, guys, they don't even require a title in order to transfer ownership from one person to the next. In the state of Illinois, if you do not have a title or any identifying numbers, you need to contact the Secretary of State for guidance on obtaining a bond for title, which may involve a fee and a bond with the clear title issued after three years if no ownership claims arise. So number six, let's talk about tax certification. You need to obtain a signed tax certification form from the county treasurer or assessor after the current year's taxes have been paid. This will be required in order to transfer the title in the state of Illinois. So at closing, in the state of Illinois, the paperwork that you're going to need is that you're going to need the title, you're going to need the tax certification, and you're going to need the bill of sales. The bill of sales can be handwritten. You do not need a notary for these particular documents, and it's so important that you conduct a final walkthrough of the property before you transfer the title over to your name in case there are any issues with that particular mobile home. So let's talk about after closing. After closing, guys, you need to transfer ownership. You need to bring the signed documents to the DMV or the Secretary of State office, and you need to pay $95 to transfer that particular title into your name. You need to submit the paperwork. Only the buyer needs to be present, but it's recommended that both parties be present in case there are any issues. Okay, you need to have proof of residency. Buyers must show proof of Illinois residency at the DMV. A lot of times, some of these states do not like when out-of-state people purchase mobile homes for the purpose of profit. So also, if the buyer is financing the mobile home, a lien can be placed on the title of the DMV. So that's in the situation if you're trying to sell a finance or own a finance the property out, what's going to happen is that the lien could be put 
on the title at the DMV. The new title will be mailed within four to eight weeks. The sellers are encouraged to attend the transfer to ensure ownership and tax responsibilities are transferred appropriately. So let's talk about moving forward in the state of Illinois in order to transfer the title. Let's talk about the annual taxes. You as the new owner are going to be responsible for the annual taxes for that particular mobile home. So remember, guys, mobile homes, if inside of a park and not fixated to land, are considered personal properties. So the taxes for a mobile home is going to be a lot cheaper than a single family home. Now, let's talk about timely transfer. You as the buyer, you need to transfer ownership for that particular mobile home over to your name in a timely fashion because if you do not, there will be other penalties that can possibly arise for you not transferring that title in a timely fashion. Let's talk a little bit about the state of Illinois and mobile home investing. The state of Illinois, guys, there are approximately 1,091 mobile home parks, and there are approximately 330,000 people living in mobile homes in the state of Illinois. So now I have a question for you guys. I have a trivia question. How many mobile homes can you buy and hold in the state of Illinois without a license? You guessed it, guys. You can buy five mobile homes in the state of Illinois without a license. Join me at Heels, Deals, and Wheels Mobile Home Investing Course for a quick 30-minute Zoom to see if my course is something that you're interested in. My number is 800-974-5580. Also, in the description is the link to my course. And also in the description is a free PDF concerning how you go about moving a mobile home.